And welcome back, meteorologist Kristen Crochane with a hat and gloves on. It's just one of those days. <laughs> dress how the meteorologists dress. That's how you know what's going on out there. Yeah, got to dress like winter yesterday and today. Uh, but by the end of the week, we will be wearing shorts and tank tops. 70 degrees, some 70s over the weekend. Uh, maybe even on Friday we could see a 70. Not today though, boy, it's cold. Yeah, if you're headed out tonight, even early tomorrow morning, you're still gonna want the uh, very warm weather gear. Wind gusts outside, uh, strongest wind gusts today have been around Sheboygan in the last hour, gusting around 40 miles an hour. Most of us seeing those gusts around 30 miles an hour. Uh, temperature readings in the 40s, but it doesn't feel like it thanks to the wind. Wind chills for most of us in the 30s to around 40 degrees. You know, it's chilly here, but it's not just here. It's chilly across a large portion of the country. Uh, you can see it's actually a little bit cooler in Indianapolis, where it's just 42 degrees right now. So some cold air making it well south. And as we look at this national map, all of the areas that you see here shaded in purple under a freeze warning tonight, all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico tonight. It is going to be very, very chilly. So this cold air impacting a large part of the country, all thanks to this big upper level low pressure system, a big dip in the jet stream, allowing some cold air to sink well to the south, uh, including us. We've been dealing with the rain and the snow uh, from this low for the last couple of days here. High pressure though, off to our west, will start to move in here uh, across Wisconsin. Most of the state actually seeing sunshine, but here we've got a lot of cloud cover close to the lake where we've got a lot of clouds. Now, as we look at future forecasts, the model doing a good job picking up on this. Does look like we see a few more clouds developing overnight, but as we get into tomorrow afternoon, we will see some sunshine. Uh, then as we head into Thursday, Things looking pretty good, kind of a mix of sun and clouds as we head through the day on Thursday, but it looks like we're going to stay dry. All right, tonight, 34 near the lake, inland lows in the 20s, but again, we're still going to have some wind to deal with here, so our future wind chills out the door in the morning, upper teens to 20 is what it will feel like, and then tomorrow afternoon, another day where it feels like temperatures are stuck in the 30s, our afternoon high tomorrow. 47. Again, not as windy as today, but the uh, hair index forecast, we'll call it a ponytail day. It's not going to be a, a hat or a forget about it day like it has been the last couple of days, but uh, still seeing some wind gusts around 25 miles an hour. All right, your seven day forecast 40s, 50s, 60s. I wouldn't be surprised if on Friday we actually saw uh, a couple of places getting to 70. Then over the weekend, it looks like we'll stay dry, 60s to around 70. It's still warm early next week, but we've got rain on the way. Could come in as early as late Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. More news still ahead. We'll be right back.